What's going on YouTube? Spitfire here again bringing you my uh, Spectral Duke Dragon profile, deck profile. Uh, I've been playing this deck uh, probably at least a month and a half now. Uh, my la last deck, if uh, you guys don't know, was uh, the Tsukiyomi uh, Oracle Think Tank build and I played that pretty much from the very beginning. Uh, that was my first deck and whether it's boredom or you know not enough attack pressure or whatever it is, I've switched over to Spectral Duke, and uh, it's been working out pretty well. I've had a lot of fun with it, and uh, I did get first place last week in my uh, locals. Actually, our whole team got first, second, and third, and uh, I obviously was playing Spectral Duke, so I want to bring you guys the profile. So obviously, uh, we got the uh, ride change starter. Uh, Black Dragon uh, Welb Vortimer. And we'll uh, just go ahead and uh, jump in the triggers. I have uh, four draw triggers. Pretty standard lineup. Eight uh, criticals. Four uh, Victory Maker. And uh, Flame to Victory and the other doesn't really matter. Pretty standard. And of course, uh, four heals. So. Now, uh, for the grade ones, I only run uh, three Gareth. I run three Black Main Witch. This is actually a promo card. Uh, if you guys don't know, uh, it's a 6k grade one. And when it's called, you can retire a, uh, a gold paladin to uh, call to an open rear guard spot from the top of your deck. So it's, uh, it really helps when you miss your ride. You can uh, retire this guy, call a free card from the top of your deck. Same thing for triggers or uh, you know excessive uh, grade twos or whatever grade you may have that you're trying to else to get. And uh, it's actually worked out pretty well. Make the deck a little bit more consistent for me. Um... And then I run the pretty much standard uh, four perfect guards. Four of the ride chain grade one uh, Scout of Darkness Vortimer. <clears throat> Excuse me. And now on to grade twos. Uh, for grade two, I run four of the uh, grade two Black Dragon Knight Vortimer ride chain. I run three Holy Bovine Vivian. Uh, when it hits Vanguard, kind of blast one, call the top off of your deck. It's pretty good. It really doesn't hit that often, but it's the uh, really the pressure that it creates. I run uh, two Damage Flippers, Mage of Calamity Trip. Uh, when you hit uh, Vanguard. Uh, you can unflip a damage. I run one of the uh, Master of Pain. I just actually put this in, so it wasn't in a tournament, but I'm, I'm going to run one Master of Pain. Uh, when it's called, you can counter blast one, take a, a card from the top of your uh, deck, put it in your damage zone at the end of the turn, choose a card from your damage zone, and, and uh, return to your deck and shuffle your deck. So it's really good for getting to that limit break when your opponent's a douche and he doesn't want to put you at four damage and you're, he's leaving you at three the entire game. Or it, uh, I mean, really, it, it really doesn't cost a counterblast um, because you can take a counterblast card or flipped card and put it back in the deck. So it's a damage on flipper kind of a, as well. As well as you can put a trigger back in your deck too, so that's always good. And I do run one uh, grade two uh, lop here. Just for uh, that luck, that luck call with the uh, spectral chain or the uh, black main witches, and then of course I run uh, three spectral dukes. I probably will put in a fourth, maybe, maybe not. Uh, you know, total user preference, I think. And then I run uh, three Gigatech destroyers. Awesome, uh, just your standard uh, 10k plus two when attacking Vanguard. And then I run one uh, Azazel and one Garamore. Uh I mean, you really could more, you know, put more Gigatex if you want, but uh, that's just what I decided to do. It's worked out pretty well for me. So 
Uh, here's the profile, and I believe it's for. I think it's 15, 14 grade ones, and uh, uh, you guys can figure it out. Anyway, guys, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Please like the video, and uh, if you guys have any comments or questions on how this deck is played, or any strategies or suggestions that you guys want to uh, ask me, or if you guys have any opinions on the deck, please uh, share that in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching.